the shader I'm using is 15, which is divided by 2, it's 7.5. So I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark the three inch standard. That's to connect for the shader slope. Three inch standard, three inch, then I'll mark for the shader 7.5. So where I have the 7.5, I'm going to come down by 1 inch. Then I'm connect this to this, where I mark 3 inches. So I have my shoulder slope. And then for here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to mark 3, 7.5. Then I'll come down by 1 inch. Then get my shoulder slope. So that's that. The next thing I'm going to do is to get my horizontal lines. By my horizontal lines, I mean um, the bust line and the waistline. So from my shoulder to my bust is 9.5. Take note that this is the front and this is the back. This is the front and this is the back. So 9.5. And then from my shoulder to my waist, it's 17 inches. So that is what I use. I have already ruled that. 17 inches I'm trying to make sure that my line are straight so 9.5 I'm going to connect it Then um then for the upper chest line I'm going to use uh, my boss is I'm going to use this formula. My boss is that is six, six divided by six. It's um uh, it's six six plus one point five. It's seven point five. This formula is actually standard. Or you can go ahead and you know measure the person's upper bust. Take note that I'm not starting from here. I'm starting from here. Seven point five. So it's going to be the same for this one too. Seven point five. And I'll go ahead and connect. Then there is something I would like us to note. Our, um, our front um, half cut and back half cut it's not the same it's not the same due, um, due to the bus you know we don't have our bus at our back so for my front for my front it's actually 7.5 uh, sorry for the front half cut it's 17 17 then for the back it's um 15.5 15.5 which is here 15.5 which is here I also note 15.5 because I want to have a straight line. I'm going to connect it. You might be wondering how will this align with this. Don't worry, when I'm through, I'm going to show us how it's going to be equal. So after drawing my horizontal lines, I'll then come ahead. I'll come and connect this to this. Then to the neck for the neck since it's just on a pattern i'm just going to do the standard neck know that these are front basic and back um back basic so for the front the neck i'm going to use is three by three that's the depth will be three and the wideness will be three and then for the back i'm going to use three by one that's the depth is going to be one and the wideness will be three so i'm going to connect it Feel 
free to alter the neck when drafting on your when uh, marking on your fabric. So that's that. Then to get our armhole, I'm going to take the midpoint of this. The midpoint, you know, I'm having 7.5, so the midpoint is 3.75, which is here. I'm going to come in by 3, 0.75 is here. Then for the bust, my bust is that six, that six divide by four. It's um that six divide by four. It's nine. This is nine. But I'm going to add 0.25 is allowance, which is here. Connect this to this. I'm going to drop and then use this one to connect that from this place to this place. For this, I'm going to note the midpoint 3.75 here and then. Um, my box that says that says divide by four, it's nine plus zero point two five is allowance. It's here, so I'll connect it. So that's that. Then the next is to come over to the that, and for the that. For the dart, my box span is 7.5. So I'm actually saying nipple to nipple, 7.5. So I'm going to 7.5 divide by 2 is 3.75. I'm going to note 3.75. 3.75. I have 3.75. 3.75. And I'm also going to mark it down. 3.75. Here. So I'm going to start one inch below. Below the bust line here, and I'll connect it. Then I'll take half inch from both sides. it then for the um about that i'm still going to note my bus pan which is 7.5 divided by 2 3.75 and i also note it at here yeah, 3.75 then i'll come down you can actually start on this um on this line or you can come down by one inch i'm going to come down by one inch Connect the line, then take one inch from half inch from both sides. And then connect. Then the next thing is to to reduce the back puff. You know, sometimes you might fix your zip and the back will be looking, it won't be smooth. I'm going to mark half inch here. Half inch here. So I'm, you can decide to connect it from here to this line or to the neck or you can come down one inch. So uh, for this story, I'm going to come down by one inch. And then connect. Coming down by one inch is not actually standard. You can decide to make it as in connect it like from here to here or extend it towards the neck. It depends on the fabric that you are using or how you want it. So that's that. So this is going to um, remove that back 
puff you know after fixing your zip you might you you notice some back puff you know to as in to remove it so this is what you are going to do to remove it so the next thing is to take the measurement know that i've already marked the the bust measurement here so the next is for the waist measurement my waist is 30, 30 divided by 4 it's um 7.5 7.5 plus 1 inch that's for this that it's 8.5 which is here 8.5 so i'm going to connect it Then for the back, 7.5 plus this 1 inch, 8.5, 8.5, and then you connect it. So the next thing, like I said earlier, this if I'm if I decide to join this thing together like that, it's not it's not going to align. So for it to align, I will not introduce the bust that. And the difference between the front and the back half cut, it's one point five. This one one point five depends on the individual. Like for mine, it's one point five. For some people, it's two. For some, it's three. You know, like that. So for mine is 1.5. This is 1.5. So I'm going to mark 1.5 here. Then this is where the my boss pan is. This dot. So I'm going to mark one point. Uh, sorry, I'm going to mark one inch, just one inch away from this um, um from this bust point, and then connect. And then connect so when you eventually take in this that you know close it this and this is going to you know be the same this and it's going to be the same so the next is to i'll just mark note the mid um, the midpoint of this 0 0.75 come up by you can come up by half or one inch i'm going to use half and then connect it like this this is very important so that when marking out on your this is very important so that you won't have a shortage when you eventually, you know, and um, take your darts in. When you eventually close the darts. So that's that and we are done with it so it's just to go ahead and cut take note that um the front and the back half um half cut um the front and the back is not the same the half cut is not the same for the front the front is um longer than the back due to this is due to you know our busts we have the bust at the front, but we don't have a bust at the back. So that's why here it's longer than this. And then for it to align, so I now introduce the bust that you can see it. What I have here is 1.5. What I have here is 1.5. So when I eventually close up, take the dart, it's going to align with each other. I hope you understand this. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section. So that's that. I think the next video I'm going to upload, I will try as much as possible to see if I can make a video on how to manipulate your dart. That's to have your um, princess dart and your shoulder dart. That's with this pattern. You can actually manipulate it to have your princess dart and your shoulder dart. So if you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload so that you don't get to miss out in any of my upload if you have any question let me know at the comment section i'll be glad to answer your question so let me go ahead and cut
I can see it. Of course, it's not equal. But when we eventually, you know, close up here, when you eventually taking your darts, taking your darts, it's going to be equal. It's going to be equal, definitely. So that's that. So with this pattern, you can actually manipulate it. That's this bust pattern. You can actually manipulate it to your princess dart, your sugar dart. Um, that's for the neck in some styles on slash and spread you transfer your bust that to the neck and then to the waist different ways Okay, I think this is it here. I'm going to upload the video It's going to be on the description box It's going to be on the description box because I don't want this particular video to be long so you can see it I was able to manipulate it to this 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 is for the princess that this is for the shoulder that then this for the princess that I hope you can see it properly. This for the princess that I use this to manipulate it to this. So this is the shoulder that to this to this and to this. So don't forget click on the subscribe button um, and share with your friends. Like on your way next time. Do have a lovely, lovely day. Bye bye.